Imagine a time when the very ground beneath your feet glittered with hidden treasures, where the roads that connected a burgeoning nation were paved not just with stone, but with gold. This is a story of how gold was not only in the mines, but was quite literally in the roads leading to those mines. One of the worst things about the gold rushes in Australia during the 1850s was the terrible roads that led from Melbourne to the goldfields, especially during the trek to Ballarat. Wagons would be bogged down in muddy conditions for weeks. Areas became notorious for their awful soggy conditions and in many cases, roads were just impossible to navigate through. As the years passed, work was put into creating gravel roads and at the time, no rock was more prevalent than the river rocks that were being dug up en masse by the miners, especially the quartz. Rounded alluvial rock was becoming more and more common as rivers, creeks and tributaries were dug up. The gold was separated from the gravel, and the gravel would be thrown into piles. It made sense to load up this gravel into wagons and to use it to build roads. Nowadays, many roads in the goldfields still contain this gravel that was placed here over 100 years ago, and asphalt has been laid over it. But this story focuses on the gravel that was used to line the streets of Ballarat in the 1850s. To say Ballarat had streets lined with gold would be an understatement. When mining first commenced here, it consisted of alluvial work. Hard rock mines were still in their infancy, so quartz wasn't crushed to extract gold. Instead, these large quartz rocks, often laden with gold, were collected during alluvial mining operations and used alongside other river rocks for road construction. This inadvertently led to streets being lined with gold-bearing quartz. Occasionally, the gold in these rocks was large enough to be visible to the naked eye. As word spread about the golden treasures embedded within the roadways, people began to pilfer quartz gravel from these paths. They would steal significant quantities to crush and sift through in hopes of extracting copious amounts of gold. This practice became so prevalent that it posed a genuine problem for local governance and road maintenance. Recognising the severity of the issue, authorities eventually prohibited the removal of road materials for private gold extraction. Mining companies, learning of the valuable losses, also became more discerning about the rocks they released for infrastructure use, limiting the access to potentially gold-laden quartz. By the 1860s, as the mining industry matured and shifted towards more efficient practices, the technique of crushing quartz to extract gold became mainstream. Specialised companies emerged, focusing exclusively on processing gold-rich quartz. This shift marked the end of gold-laden quartz in road construction, as more valuable materials were now being carefully processed to maximise gold extraction. Today, the quartz that once formed the foundation of Ballarat streets is hidden beneath layers of modern asphalt. The romantic era of visibly gold-infused roads is long gone, replaced by the practicalities of contemporary road building. So, this is the story of how Ballarat's roads were quite literally lined with gold. Thanks for watching.